your location to your new one, sorry. What time am I running on here? 30 minutes. Alright. Danger! <laughs> no one already knows there's fucking danger. Alright, what is this? Um, used to be a warehouse. Yeah, oh, okay. Armed oh, dogs. Yeah, the, the warehouse is... Yeah. Alright, Central Square. That's usually like a trading spot or it's a sniper area. Generally a trading spot. So I'm thinking I'll go here first. I mean, I don't even have a fucking weapon. I can't protect my valley. Fucking... With Pog Squares and that, the war has taken its toll on hearing. Um, let's say it is a trading area, and I'll just take that. Wait. Yeah, it's Mishan, that's what I was thinking. It's not fucking clean water, it's alcohol. I guess I was sucked over the water drop. <laughs> fucking no one cares about. Oh god. Shit. This is the same. Trades go on even during the war. Okay. That immediately calms me down before I... No one's here. There's usually a bomb back here. That's sitting down that tells you about the trading area. There's usually all the trader stands around here if it is. And usually there'd be a corpse and gunfire, so I think... I think it's just abandoned this time. I mean, unless there's a sniper that, that just hasn't killed anyone yet, which is very weird. They're usually just shooting off at nothing. Fresh blood on the ground. Something has happened here. You know what that means. Let's just, uh... Fuck. Fuck. Right, I'm not going further than that train line. I'll just see if I can get here. Oh, search the subway, because that seems like that might be alright. That's a long way back, actually. I don't, I don't even remember how far that. Plus, the footprints from heavy soldier shoes is certainly not the best idea to hang up. Yeah, I can agree with that, but I feel like there's a good story here. Soldiers must be close, damn it. You can't... You can't see the ones that I just scrolled past? But yeah, there, there certainly is, and there's probably more than fucking one this time. That's right, I don't remember any doors that... Then again, with a sniper, they're generally cut off by the statue. I can't. Okay, I, I can't actually walk through that water for whatever reason. Alright, let's see if this tunnel is safe. I'd be surprised if it isn't, but... I never know how com confident they are. It's generally when you get out of the tunnel that you have to fucking worry. Generally, what the? That looks safe to me. There's another door. Please have something, anything like a a, a, a box of fucking rubbish. Like, fuck. I like the little detail how she blinks every once in a while, though. I don't know if you just noticed that in the little bottom right, but it shows a character. Is that? Okay, it's calm. Too calm. It's quiet. Too quiet. Nothing worth taking. I better check through that before I break it down. I mean, she seems to do it quietly. For some reason. Which is fucking impressive, but... Mm, I still don't want to take my risk. I'm a... I'm a minimal risk kind of guy. I hate Call of Duty. I can't say wrong word. Unless, you know, the pay is pretty good, but... <sighs> I didn't expect this to... 
Alright. This is fucking risky. This is fucking risky. Because if I go up there and I hit run to exit, he's, she's going to run through the door and hit that soldier on the base floor. She's not going to come down to the tunnel and do it small. So it's going to be actually really hard to run away from anyone. If they all got guns like he does, it's going to be really hard to run from them. So... Uh, oh, fuck. Oh... God, anyone comes to... Oh my... Fuck. They are fucked. Now it's just a matter of time until they spill everything. Is he torturing someone? Holy shit. Oh fuck, I just found a fucking prison in here. Alright. Yeah. I'm, um... I'm done for this... Oh shit, I just hit run. Good night. Oh, what else? Fuck it. Run to exit. Next time... I might check the other area first. But that one's gonna be fucking risky too. Probably. I don't want to say just as risky, because you'll probably be able to get a drop on him easier. I already know the area, so... You know, I know the of land. I've, I've had a couple rough fights there that have gone pretty successful for me. Come on, big girl. You can do it. There you go, you did it. I've discovered that the armor army is torturing some people suspected of helping the rebels and will slightly be killed if they're not rescued. Okay, so I could have actually rescued them, in other words. I have no weapons. Like, if I had a gun and a knife, then I could have snuck up and secured one of them. But there were two people talking in that one room, so I'd have to gun down the other one and hope that they don't gun me down first. Then the other guy in the other room would have ran over, which I think that was just one. It could have been two or something. Like, that's really fucking hard to do in this game. So, if I had a weapon, I, I might be considering that. But until then, like, fuck. Pencil, uh, filter, along with, like, the black and white like it's not properly black and white but it it seems black and white you know like it's favorited towards it kind of we have to help with my sack quickly and we must help them uh, of course he is right i heard that the army is holding some people at so central square i told malik uh, so we can summon help <laughs> That's such a weird way of phrasing it. So we can summon help. Um, Esmeralda, look for supplies. We couldn't find fucking anything. Um, uh, like he's starving. We gotta get him food before he gets fucking depressed and dies. Actually, fucking, I'll, I'll do both of them so it doesn't matter. Oh, well, there's only starving. He's got no other status. The fat. Perfect. I don't know. But you know what I mean. We have to let our listeners know about the people detained at the Central Square, yeah. Yeah, we do, but first of all, buddy, you gotta you gotta sit your fucking ass down and listen. My pet dog shit is getting cold. It's not getting cold as quickly, but we must do something about the those people held by the army in Central Square. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if people are actually going to help. I mean, I feel like this one is going to be the thing that's just going to click and make the army really fucking mad at this uh, Malik. Shit, is this one of the ones that I have to... No, okay. Only the rebels can help them, but I don't know any contacts. 
Okay, so maybe maybe this is where I'll get my supplies and my weapons. I'll actually contact the rebel. That, that's okay. I like that. There's going to be some kind of plot development which is going to progress the story. Uh, sorry, the gameplay. As well as develop the story further. Interesting. I like that. Intertwined story and gameplay elements. Always a nice addition. Always makes it feel nice. Me neither, that's why I have to broadcast this information. Indeed you do, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. I don't hate Malak, but it's kind of weird that he values his job, like, more than he does his friends or anything. I won't sit around while people are being tortured by those men, guys. I want to say it's just war, but... I can't really say they're out of place by thinking that maniacs are torturing people. I guess that's one of those topics, discussion starters kind of things. Interesting. I must be going to doing his bloody leg. Get on that discussion, boy, and then I'll I'll feed you a chicken leg. Actually, <laughs> can I do it now? <laughs> the army is holding and brutally torturing I didn't they were kind of just sitting there they were just saying that they were torturing them they were like sitting there I guess maybe if you got like a proper look at the um other people in there, you could probably have said like it was brutal, but I only saw one guy lying there. I think the other might have actually been dead. Innocent people in a building. I mean, we don't know if they're innocent, to be fair. I mean, they are civilians. You could certainly say they're civilians. But uh, people in a building at Town Square, if anyone who hears this is able to save them, please hurry. There is no time to lose. It's interesting that we can just leave stuff like that up to the others though so we don't have to damn someone must save them what's he doing here like why isn't he at the what the fuck I thought he had to be at his what is that a glitch that I just encountered or what I mean I guess this is is kind of a minor one, like, oh no, he didn't walk through a room, but like, why the heck? I might actually separate that just for a video, but I, I guess I don't know how to. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Anyway. Damn it, there are no smokes left. There haven't been smokes for fucking ages, buddy. We got one cigarette this whole fucking LP. Like, forget the fucking cigarettes. Like, focus on fucking surviving here. Let's hope the rebels have heard our broadcast and free those poor people. What if the military do? What do you think of that? How can government forces torture their own... Um, isn't the... Like, who, who's the government fighting in this? Because I thought it was... They were, they were fighting, like, rebels themselves, or they were fighting civilians. Still starving. Oh, fuck me. The military is getting even more brutal towards civilians. I'd wager none of the people detained in Central Square have actually anything to do with the rebels. That's possible. It could be torturing them for information and they could genuinely not know anything. That... Yeah. Went through that out of the room of possibility. Uh, realm of possibilities. I'm gonna give him another chicken leg, but I've only got fucking two of them. No one's suffering from depression yet, but if he's starving for too long, he will. I don't want my boy to suffer from depression though, because it's so, it's so like motivational. Like, yeah, we can do this. We can survive. I don't, I don't want to see that kind of fade away from him. government propaganda, even before he sits down, he's like, fucking government propaganda, I swear. I, 
I still don't know what I'm going to do about the wood, though. Wait, hang on, why is that still there? What the fuck? Might as well get it to go check that out. While well, I was halfway through checking the channel, it's been quiet. I mean, by now, there should be some, because he posted two stories, so there should be some sort of response. I guess I did pick up the military one. Maybe after we contact the rebels and we get weapons, that's when the military hits us. So we can actually defend ourselves and we don't just instantly die. Or maybe they come over and threaten us to stop. Well, I guess that, that might be more of a, um, how much do you, like, annoy, like, tell the civilians about what's going on whether they threaten or whether they just try and kill you outright but anonymous letter thrown through the window the soldier was killed because of your radio broadcast the military is sniffing around take care yeah the tension is building because they threw this through the window which is which explains why i didn't find out i thought it would be connecting to the cardboard box Mm, they're, they're gonna come, so that's obvious. It's not. It's kind of nice that people are coming by, just dropping information because they know who we are. And then at the same time, everyone knows who we are and where we are. But it is kind of nice. It almost feels like you got your own private security. That's how it just does this. But um, military is sniffing around. Doesn't. I knew this day would come, it's getting really scary. Yeah. <laughs> Military wanting to fucking kill you is it would be a fucking terrifying thing. This horrible letter nobody ever has ever threatened to kill Malak before. So I guess they ignored the last broadcast then. Hmm. I wonder how Malak doesn't even have a new bar. <laughs> Either he, she has to tell him about it, or like, he just doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, god damn, she's getting fucking serious and, like, if he's still like, yeah, I'm going all in on this, I don't give a fuck, then like, I gotta hand it to him, he's got some balls. Mm, the military, like, it's not just like a, a small gang or an individual. Alright, um, Peter, 18, boxes, 6, planks of wood. He's stubborn like a donkey, both of them are. I mean, he's got the news, so it must be because... The military threat is threatening us, trying to intimidate us. All the more reason to repeat that. We will keep telling you the truth no matter what. I kind of admire that. You know, like, he's, he's got some balls. He's, he's sticking to what he believes in. And I, I appreciate that. But at the same time, you're just asking for them to come to your door knocking with, like, multiple different guys with fucking guns and just... And, and not actually threatening you, that someone else gave you that letter. So... Uh, I don't know if I should broadcast that one. Um, because it, it, it doesn't even tell... Fuck it, I'll, I'll go all in for like, fuck the military. This LP, I'm just going all in on, like, fuck the military, just... Right now, what's she gonna... She'll have to feed him, won't she? Alright, one more chicken leg, so hopefully it won't be... He needs to fucking talk at <laughs> Yeah, he needs his fucking pep talk right now. <laughs> Too bad with her. Oh my fucking... <laughs> 
Oh my god, with, with all that's going on, they're just like, the cigarettes! <laughs> Man, I, I mean, I understand you'd be fucking stressed out, but like... Uh, that's the least of your fucking concerns, right? I doubt Rebel anyone would come to help us because of the... I wouldn't mind another help. You mean like someone else helping you or... Yeah. Is he still very starving? Yeah. No, he's very hungry, alright. But I don't know how much longer we can keep it. Yeah! <laughs> I'd say you've got like a couple days. At most two to three days before someone comes knocking. I mean, I feel like they'd give it a, a day or two just to kind of, you know, give yourself a little prep time. This guy's so fucked. Yeah, I'm only won't sit on their hands listening to <laughs> We pretty much just said in the last one, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> It's true, but this is the price of changing the situation in our city. Yeah, so he's like, I don't care if I die as long as I help someone. That, that, that's kind of the philosophy that is, he's running with through what he's saying now. It's kind of interesting. I, I admire that. Someone that appreciates a cause and sees it as bigger than themselves that they're willing to commit themselves to. I always, I always love like someone that's willing to yeah yeah so they are definitely in a relationship now because i i didn't read the first thing they probably told me all about that because they generally say why they're together and you know like the survivors together what happened to them before the war and how they and oh, honey watch out for you for like they never said anything like this prior to literally just out then so i'm, I'm really surprised by the interactions now I hope our listeners know someone who can free these poor people. Yeah, and fucking save your ass, because they're going to be thinking about that at the same time. They're probably going to be going for the other people and not you. In all honesty, they're probably going to see that as, like, way worse, even though, logically, you think to help the person that's notifying you of all these things so you can stay. Oh, shit, they actually... Toy Store... Now that was originally something that they added the toy store for the um, other DLC that you could get through there. Because there was a story related thing there, quite big actually. So um, I'm kind of surprised to see that here. Before the war, the biggest toy store in the city was packed with... Rolls? Of children being begging parents for dolls, games, models, candles, and a million other things. Now... Is ruined stand silent and empty music club now this is definitely a new area so there'll be something story related there i would i would leave central square for the last or check the other places first the ruin of the most luxurious hotel in pogarin <laughs> steel houses the best music club in the basement Base. Not much of his pre-war splendor survived, but people can come here to meet kindred spirits and forget the war for a while. Okay, so maybe it'll be like a trade area where like a bunch of hobos have stacked up. Good spot to gather information, that's for sure. Um, warehouse, I'll check later. That's going to be fucking interesting and dangerous. Maybe that will be for the next part. How far am I through this now? Alright, this, this will be the last um, day then. Used to dress wounds, yeah, I know that. Can't, I mean, I, you can probably use it during a match, but it doesn't regenerate your health. Or... One song. There's probably like three there. This one's the one that strikes me as like, there's always fucking someone that wants to kill you, some sort of danger here. This is really interesting. This is a fucking bridge. And you go across. 
I like this area. Please don't kill me. I, I'm hoping that's a hobo, and I think it is. I mean, he's fascinated by that line. The... Oh shit, you can talk to him. Alright. Definitely talking to him. Nothing here. Fuck me. Of course that wouldn't be. Of course that fucking wouldn't be. Fuck it, let's just run. I, I, I said run, woman. Run. Oh, important one. How's it going? Is the bar open? So there's a bar upstairs. Nine club downstairs. Okay. safe here though. I feel like there's not actually any real threat around. Oh. You don't go down that side? Alright, how about I go down this side? No, can I get mine? No, I can't. Okay. Alright. That's just locked off. Free Perogin. I like I like how it, like there's more tags that actually say stuff here now. Come on, come on, you don't have to fucking sneak, goddammit. it. Oh, someone wants to drink. I might zoom in just for special effects and shit. No. No talks to these guys? Okay. Wow, I'm so pissed. I'm assuming it means pissed as in drunk, not pissed as in fucked off, because it's... I mean, it always worries me in this game. What the fuck did you say? Well, I see your point, but what about all the innocent people who are saved? They're probably talking about... Hmm. I don't know what they... They might be talking about, um... What happened and the thing because of the broadcast. Can I get here? Does she have a way, like, will she climb up the barrels and get up, or... Or is she just gonna be like, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright, so I'm gonna check the bottom first and then go to the top later, because then it, it just helps me to know where I have and haven't been, I guess. Innocent my ass, if the army rounded them up, they must have been up to no good. Okay, I like this, the actual NPCs are actually discussing and arguing and shit, and it's not other than the military. I wonder if they're gonna get in a fight, that would be interesting, or if I could get involved in that discussion. Holy shit, this guy's got a lot more. The materials is, he's got like fuck all to be fair. Yeah, that's, that's not really anything good. But I'll keep that in mind. Oh, what's this now? Uh, maybe clicking on certain ones is like who I tell off, but I don't know it is. It's not like, I don't imagine it'll have a drop down menu of things for me to say. Oh, okay, hello, Dr. Doc. Oh, shit. She actually knows this person. Esme, it's been a while. You haven't changed at all since the world went to hell. Yeah, I guess plenty of people would, but. <laughs> the guy on the, on the side being like, So, shall we trade? Hello, stranger. 
You like my wares? What do you need that for, hunting an elephant or something? You don't look too shabby yourself, Gustav. Gustavo Fring. The, the guy from Breaking Bad, if you don't know that. And what a nice place you got here. It's his? He's not just like visiting. How do you, how do you know it? Is he gonna shoot it down? I mean, he's probably not. Yeah, it would be a shame if something happened to it. Oh, fucking that foreshadowing line. I hate those. Only thing that keeps me going. Yeah. Oh, God. Wait, foreshadowing, like, tragic pay, like. Nice choice of words. What the fuck did he say? Okay, so these guys up top just loop their conversations. That's kind of lame. Um. So he'll probably be attacked or something. I got that one guy that he was talking to, just kind of fucking standing there, like off to the left here. Actually, it hasn't been so bad lately. I've been getting more patrons since your last broadcast. I, that kind of feels a bit connected to YouTube and stuff, but I won't. I won't get into that. Nice fucking lit up sign they've got there indoors. They really need that. Oh, it's indoors, not outdoors. <laughs> what else? But the bar's just here. It's a nice bar. Oh, that's actually a balcony on the top. Of yeah, I okay. Yeah, no, yeah. That's not a bad spot. Many soldiers died, many more good people were saved. They did rescue the people, so we are doing some good stuff. Alright. I really appreciate what you do, but you could be a bit more careful about it. <laughs> yeah, we could, eh? You wanna give me like a gun to protect myself or something? Huh? 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 Something to give my crippled husband so he doesn't get fucking gunned down by a bunch of military guys or something. Anything, maybe, maybe just a nice looking critical insta kill people, like when I'm snooping around in the military's business. So I'm getting real up there. Like it's gonna get a lot more dangerous coming up, I can tell. People are starting to talk, what is the army is after you? You really did a number on them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fucking hectic. If I don't get a weapon soon, like, I'm fucked. I'm already seeming like I'm hitting the wall on what I can do without fighting the military here. So my progress is going to be halted if you don't give me, like, at least a knife. Come on, just a knife. It shouldn't be that hard. Like, maybe a fucking shiv will do. Come on, like, just break a beer bottle and use that. If only you could do that as a mechanic, just break, like, a beer bottle, like, after you've drank it out of it. Just use that as a weapon. It's getting dangerous to carry on your own work. Or on with your work. Maybe you should lay low for a while. Interesting. But I've already published that last one that he hasn't listened to, where we would literally just... Hmm. For the sake of this, since I've already committed for the LP, I'm just gonna pull on hard go like fuck the military. I need to find force to change, and I will, like if I'm actually unable to progress at some point, but otherwise. Thanks for your warning, Gustav Wafering, I will tell Malak. Nothing in the bottom left of it, but maybe it's just a discussion I have to click on him for. I guess that's only for news pieces, where you can actually publish, when you're going to publish, like, I'm not gonna be talking or doing videos or whatever, but don't get yourself killed. Haha! <laughs> that won't happen, haha! This is just a war. 
I don't know if it happens to anyone. Oh. Wait, is there another from to talk to him? Oh no, that was just disappearing. Oh wow, there's a lot of people to talk to here actually. We're gonna be able to pick up a. Wow. Okay. Haven't encountered anyone like in this game that many people. Have... Really, I don't. Alright, just gonna cut him off. Yeah. It's your fault things went to. Yeah, he was arguing about that. What does he mean? What did we do to fuck things up? Because the military still offered him as well. I beg your pardon? Wow, she's very hot. She's not going to be able to handle things well. Don't play dumb, you and your husband. You and your husband, this is so... Like, I feel like I've all heard these lines word for word in something else where they're like... I don't want to bash too much on the like, script and story of this, because the DLC has been pretty good so far, but like, it's pretty weak. All, all your prattling on the radio did was piss off the soldiers. I don't know, it seemed like it saved some people before. Like the hostages. It's quite interesting. It's probably the most involved in the actual war that you have been in anything in this war of mine so far. Because every other time you've just been someone surviving. They actually they take it out on us, completely innocent people. Uh, I guess they were rebels, the other guys. I'll listen to what you have to say, but they'll deal with you soon. You'll get your just... Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, look, when you're wishing someone else to fucking die, like... Straight up, like... You can just fuck off, like... I'm not listening to your points anymore, fucking piece of shit. Oh, Esma, it's good to see you alive and well. I'm your uncle, your happy, loving uncle. Remember how I raised you so well? Oh, I'm surprised. Or maybe just like a big. No, I guess the other guy was the old friend. Hi, I'm glad to see you too. Yeah, you're real fucking lucky to have found that many people, like, considering all the other player characters that. Like, never do and stupid wish I would. How are you doing? Maybe it's just a build up like that, they're all gonna fucking die. Huh? It's just building on the tragedy, so you experience it too. I'm fine, I actually managed to stock up on food first time in weeks. So I guess it just so it, you actually feel the impact that the characters go through too, not just like the events that occur thereafter. But, um, so I, I'm not against that entirely, it's just the foreshadowing line that really is just like, yeah, now I know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> but, um... Your broadcasts are a great help. Yeah, so it's just the one dude that's just got a different view, it looks like. Then again, they might just be more inclined to look at things positively because they they have a bias towards us because they listening to Malik gives me hope that we can hold on until the war ends. That's that's the sort of thing that I'd expect to hear. That seem like a one of those kinds of people. Come on, come on. I hope this doesn't drain away from my time because I feel like it will be but it was worth it. This sort of juicy con. Tell them that I support what you do. Take care. 
Take care. Gone here. I could also tell I'm not the other car. <laughs> I mean, the other guy kind of said that too, so you've heard it twice now, but you know. It almost makes him feel like he might, yeah, he kind of might be developing um, not much time. Oh, fuck me, he does no oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way she's get back before that clock. Yeah. It's kind of like there's a chance that they will come back for you, dude. So, I don't know, do I have bandages? But... I don't like to run that risk, you know? It doesn't show her... Uh, I mean, he's not dead. He hasn't fucking killed himself yet. So... Maybe... Maybe she's gonna come back tomorrow... And wounded. And... Well, probably. Because if she died, then he'd be just fucking, like last time, um, someone tried to rob us, it was quite tough work, they picked up a, as they put up a, okay, so they didn't take the bandages, which is the most important thing right now, alcohol is kind of important, the water, not even in the slightest, too bad we had no weapons, Malik was wounded, oh shit. Yeah, now that's concerning, is she's going to probably come back wounded too. We should put more people in guard. Am I going to put, like, a fucking cripple on guard? Like, come the fuck on. I mean, the chick has to be going out to progress the fucking games. Fucking... Uh, slightly sick, slightly... Fuck. Oh man, LP is gonna be real hard next fucking. Jesus Christ. Well, that was the LP. Them bundle, the fool. Cut up with his world. I'm worried about that. 